Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, we're going to be looking at how we would go about constructing the true or identifying the true length of a line, finding the true length of a line. Alright, now right here, we have a number of questions. We're going to, to do one of the questions, but we're going to use three different methods and we're going to see if we can use those different methods to identify the true length of the line and the, the, the length should remain consistent throughout all three methods okay it says right here each figure shows the plan and elevation of an inclined line so the line is inclined so it's like sloping and slanting and we are, we are viewing the plan and the elevation but based on the angle at which we are looking we are not able to see the true length of the line so now we're going to try to construct the actual true length of the line all right so we're going to do question one all right and question one says right here question one is right here so we're going to start off with that question and the first method that we're going to use is the um revolution method so that we're going to use to identify the true length of the line now to do that we first need to construct this so we'll start with the xy line the xy line is that line right here all right so we will start with the xy line so let me just select a line to start with um and that line let's make it 50 so that's our xy line from here to here is 10 according to the drawing and then from here to here is 50 and turn on ortho okay and then now all we have to do is to just join this because we have we have this 50 then we went up by 10 here went up by 50 so now we just need to join these two to get a1 b1 okay so let's get that and then after we get a1 b1 from here from this point here we draw a line down by 25 then from over here we draw a line down by 10 and then we connect those to get a b okay so let's do this draw a line from here to this point right here and we have that then now from over here we will draw this down by 25 then draw this stone by 10 and uh, then we will connect the two points once we've done that now we need to label so let me just copy this all right so let me turn off ortho and object snap so this would be b1 is a1 and this is a and this is b okay no let's change this from b1 to a1 and let's change this from a to b there we go so then we have that so now we are going to need to find the true length of a b so to find the true length using the revolution method this is what we're going to do we're, let me turn on back ortho and uh, object snap and i'm going to draw a line from a1 i'm going to bring that line out here no specific length and then what i'm going to do is to draw a circle and I'm going to draw that circle from A1, using A1 as the center, bring it all the way out to B1. And then where this circle touches this line, I'm going to bring this line down here, like this. Alright, no specific length. Let's bring it about anywhere past B. Alright, so then now, once we have that, I'm going to draw a line from B to that line that we just brought down. And that point is going to be B2. The reason why it's B2 and not B1 is because we already have B1 up here. So don't you know we have B2. Lovely. All we're going to, have to do now is to join. I'm just using a different color. And join A to B2. And that line that we use to join A to B2, that is the true length of our line. 
All right, so that's the true length of AB. Some quest sometimes you might be asked for the increment angle. If you're asked for the um, if you're asked to to give the that angle, the true angle of inclination, not the increment angle. Sorry, not the increment angle, but the true angle of inclination of inclination. You will be just all you have to do is just to draw this line from A, bring it across like that line and then this angle here that would be your true angle of inclination okay nice all right so now we're going to do the same drawing but we're going to use a different method so now i'm going to just instead of drawing doing the drawing again i'm just going to copy the lines that we need so let me copy that the xy line copy this all right that that I select my copy bring this across to here oh I forgot to copy the labels no problem I'm delete that line we didn't need that line so copy the labels and here we have it no for this method we just use the revolution uh, method for this one now for this one for this one here we're going to use the auxiliary projection method now to use the auxiliary projection method this is what we, we are going to do we're going to draw perpendicular lines from a b all right so we're going to draw perpendicular lines from a b so from here turn off um turn off ortho and then right there it says perpendicular all right so that's a perpendicular 170 degrees. so we're going to draw this out at the perpendicular angle so sometimes it you'll see it go away just double click space bar and there you get back your perpendicular line okay there we have it i'm going to need to extend it out so there we go and then i'm just going to click on this perpendicular line and i am going to copy it from here bring it to that point here and here we have it now once we have those lines i'm going to click on a b i'm going to select the copy command and i'm going to copy a b and i'm going to bring it anywhere on this line just let's just bring it out of the drawing uh not too far out like about there okay so what i did was just to ensure that i have nearest turned on in um nearest in object snap and then just click anywhere on the line and um copy a b from here to here i could use the offset command as well and offset it from here and just bring it anywhere out there all right so now we have that so once we have that this is what we are going to do we are going to take the distance from the x y line this line here is our x y line actually let me label the x y line so that we do not get um confused so let me just copy it and bring it to this point here change this to x and then uh, over here we would have y nice all right so x y line no once we have that we are going to take the distance from x to a1 right here that distance we know is 10 but we can just measure to make sure so this distance should be 10 and it is indeed 10 okay so we are going to know offset by 10 so we offset that by 10 and this right here we know we know of a 2 right here would have a 2 all right and then this distance from here from y to b1 it's what that distance is the distance should be 50 but we'll see we will see that distance is indeed 50 so now we're going to offset by 50 
this distance from here to that point there is 50. we need to extend this a little bit let's just extend it to me there there we go so right here now so this line here would be x2 y well actually it would be x1 y1 so this line would be x y1 y1 so right here we would have um a2 b2 so let me copy so that's a2 and this point here is b2 All right, now once we have that, all we have to join the points. The points, sorry. So join B2 to A2. And there we have our line. So now let's measure. This distance here is 65.8. So that means that this line should also be 65.8. And it is indeed 65.8. So now we're going to use one more method and we should still get the same 65.8 let's just copy all of these things here all right so let's copy these from here bring them over here i've got one line i can just draw about that line actually let me just copy it this line a1x there we go nice all right oh i also forgot this line here let me just do this no for this method what we're going to be using is the triangulation method okay now with the triangulation method we are going to bring across a1 here actually yeah let's bring across a i'm going to bring across a here and i am also going to bring across b here. good nice so now that i bring across a and i also brought across b i'm just going to choose a point to just anywhere you can just start anywhere so if you just start here i'm going to join the two points together okay so once i've done that now from here what I'm going to do is uh, to I'm going to draw this distance here I'm going to draw a line here at this distance and that distance is going to be equal to a1 b1 so let's measure a1 v1 so let's go utilities measure distance this distance is Sixty-four. Okay, so that's sixty-four. So that means that from here, I'm going to draw a line that is going to be sixty-four. All right. So I could just do this. I could just trim this. You are enter enter and just trim this. Could have also used an arc or a circle to get it, but I'll just trim it and then I'll just draw this from here, sixty-four. So this is sixty-four here. Okay. So now let's give these these points some some names. 
So let me copy. And give her you can give her any names we want. Let me yeah. Let me turn off Arthur. And object snap. I don't want the points to snap to the line. Okay. So we could call these, let's call this um K and let's call this L. And let's call this M. Good. And then now we're going to join K to M. And K to M should be the true length of AB. Moment of truth. Let's see. Actually, let me do this. And join K to M. Turn on back object snap. Snap that to that. And this should be 65.8. It is 65.7 and uh, if we and it's because it is set to um, decimal point and if we were to just take off the decimal it would basically be the same thing okay so this is three different methods that you can use to identify the true length of a line all right so if you're ever given a if you're ever given a question that you know you are required to identify the true length of a line and the angle of inclination and all of that then you can use any one of these methods okay so like right here this angle of inclination here is 13 and this angle is also 13 the length is the same and everything so we have the revolution method we have the auxiliary projection method and we also have the triangulation method all of which you can use to identify the true length of a line all right so i do hope you found the video helpful if you did find the video helpful please drop a like and a subscription we're very close to reaching um 1000 and thank you for your continued support and have yourself a wonderful day